Hey everyone, in this video, I want to look at how can I get the creation time of a virtual machine? And not just a virtual machine, it could be a virtual machine scale set, a dedicated host, even a capacity reservation. Now in the past, to try and work out the creation time, we would do some weird magic involving, well, we could look at the managed disk of the OS and look at that. But now there's actually a much, much better way of doing this that's just native as part of the REST API. So what they've done in the API is with the latest version, let's get rid of this picture of me so we can fully see, in API version 22.0301, it now returns a time created property. So that obviously will give you the time created of that virtual machine. So if we actually go and, hey, in this case, I'm gonna use PowerShell but I'm just gonna call the RESTful API. So I'm using the invoke REST method, but what we're really doing here is I'm looking at the Microsoft.compute certain location, and in this case, a virtual machine. So I wanna get that information about the virtual machines. So I'm just gonna execute this command, and I can now just look at each of the different values it returns and I want to extract out of that value, I'm looking at the properties and time created. So if I just run this, well, straight away you can now see, super easy, for each of my three VMs, it now gives me the time created. So it's now literally just this time created property that I'm gonna get returned for those VMs, for those virtual machine scale sets, those dedicated hosts, those capacity reservations. I can also do this with the AZ CLI. So the PowerShell today, the regular PowerShell module does not yet show that time created. It's, it's coming, but it's why I had to use a REST call from PowerShell. Now the AZ CLI is a much thinner wrapper around the REST API, so that actually just works today. So if I quickly go and just get the list of IDs of my virtual machines. So in this case, I'm just gonna, here we can see, hey look, just give me the list. I literally just want the IDs and output in TSV. So I'm just gonna get an array of all of the IDs of my virtual machines. What I can then do is the azvm show command. And with that azvm show command, all I want in this case, I'm gonna say show me the name and show me the time created. And I'm doing the first item in the array, array item zero. So if I just run this, I'm gonna get exactly the same thing. So for that demo Linux VM, sure enough, it's giving me that time created. Likewise, I could equally go and look at the second item in the array. Remember, arrays start with item zero, which is why the second item is one. And now, hey, it's showing me demo VM and I'm going to get in that time created. And that's it. I mean, that's kind of the, the magic behind this. It's super easy. It's now just a property that gets returned from the API. So you could go and hook that into your scripts, your applications, whatever. But if I wanna know the time created, it's now super simple with that latest version of the API. Again, as long as it's 1st of March, 2022 or later, this property is now returned. So that was it. Uh, I hope as always this was useful. Till next video, take care.